welcome back to another weekend vlog. Today for me is Saturday, obviously. I actually wasn't going to vlog this weekend or I wasn't going to vlog today, but I haven't vlogged since Tuesday and I was kind of missing it. I've been doing Vlogtober, vlogging so much, and this week I really just needed to take a break and do some things and just not vlog. <laughs> but today, I I'm vlogging tomorrow because we are going to the corn maze, pumpkin patch. I told you guys about it's we try to do it every year and get all the kids together and it's difficult because everybody's so busy but um and we postponed it once already from when we had hurricane ian so we're going tomorrow and i really really love to look back at these vlogs and see how the family's grown and changed and this year we're adding madison's boyfriend next year we'll be adding a grandbaby so it's just like something that's so fun to look back on and see how everything has changed you know in a year or a couple years so i'll be vlogging tomorrow but i thought why don't i just vlog on saturday too just making a whole weekend vlog so today it's actually lunchtime. i'm heading over to danielle and michael's house because the girls and i are helping her and her mom plan her her baby shower because i've always been like a party person i love planning it i love everything about parties so she just said could you help me and of course my girls have always helped me too we've loved we've always thrown really great parties it's just something we always love to do so i said i would love to help so we're going to go over there and do we've already met once and discussed most everything but we're going to do some of the final uh you know things we need to do and then i am going to actually after that go over to patrick's house he asked me to help him do some like organizing in his bedroom and um he, you know, he's a 50 year old single man. He needs a, a woman's touch. So I said, sure, I'll come over. So I'm going to go after I go to Michael's. I'll go over there. And then this evening, I don't know, Jackson has a big Halloween party with his friends. And uh, I, I don't know what I'll, I don't know. I, I, Marion and I have the option to go out tonight since Jackson won't be here. Or we might just get Mexican food and bring it home. I don't know. <laughs> just see if I feel like being at home or if I want to go out, you know. at Patrick's house we've been working oh my word we've been working oh. he's got some, I'll show you some of the pictures he's uh -huh. got that's our dad and mom that's me and our twin sisters and Patrick and then our brother Joe wasn't born yet he's got so many pictures all over his walls yes mixed towels he loves mixed towels Hi there, Mr. so we've just been going through his clothes Patrick loves clothes can you tell <laughs> these are just pants he lives in like a one bedroom one bath so we have to make storage where we can and he clearly loves his shoes our sister built him some shelves and this is his shoe storage he loves <laughs> shoes and he loves pictures these are pictures from like all his travels he's a world traveler like literally this is our grandma, grandparents' house growing oh, up in Austin, Austin, Texas. So many memories in that house. There's me. No, there's mom and all five of, five of her kids. It's kind of got a glare on it. But anyway, that's, uh, yeah, those are great pictures, Patrick. But Patrick ha used to have seven pet snakes in this little bedroom of his. He kept them all in here, but he's downsized. He only has one now. He got rid of... He like traded them into the pet store and then he bought, what is it? A, this is a, a leucistic? A leucistic, leucistic ball python. It's so, a white snake, oh, but it doesn't have the red it. eyes. Oh yeah, no yeah. red eyes, it's not no, albino. So no. if you don't like snakes, just don't look. I'll show you, show you real quick. I don't like spiders, so. Right. But he used to have seven, he's only got, whoa! He's gotten huge. So his <laughs> name is Atticus. Yes. And we have a nephew, or, or we have a niece named Sierra. She's my sister's stepdaughter and she has a son who loved him when he met him and so he named him after him. So his name is Atticus and I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> He's so big. I am. Lord have mercy, you've gotten so big. And it's so funny because on his little snout, he's got, he's got, he was pushing, he was pushing his snout down into the, down into the ground. Was he trying to get away from you? Well, no, it, it, they so just. He's cold. Yeah, they're, they're cold blooded. They're cold blooded, so. right. And, so um, pretty. How, he he was way tiny when you got him. Yo, he was so you, so so. You've had tiny. him like two years, right? I got him on the last day of 2020. So, okay, so almost two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, he's beautiful. Yes, he's beautiful. Patrick's oh. always had snakes whenever he could. That's true. Since, In fact, I got a gra graduation gift from high school. Yeah, was a ball python, yeah. but it was a 
Joanne, named that after my chemistry teacher. Yeah, Joanne, Joanne Danielson. Danielson was our That's chemistry right. teacher. Um, right. I don't know why you named him after her or her oh, after her. You, but, well, I, I don't. I don't remember. But this is Atticus, and yes. he loves his Atticus. So he's the so only true. one he has now. But he's, he's if beautiful. Notice Another random fact about Patrick: he is a snake whisperer. True. He loves, loves, loves snakes. Anyway, true. we got a lot done. We, we got did. a lot done. Oh, I'm, I have to run, take Jackson to his Halloween party. I'll have to come back and help Patrick finish, but we're almost done. Yes, we are. We and did. Amazing. We did. We did a I'm lot. I'm so glad that Erica Marie is my sister. <laughs> and Patrick Michael is my brother. <laughs> That's me! That it is. So yeah. we uh, just dropped, I dropped Jackson off at his Halloween party and I came, uh, picked Marion up. We're just getting gas now. Super exciting. But I don't remember what I said. This day has just been nonstop. It's from what I've been going from one thing to the next. But I went to Michael Danielle's. We got all the shower finali preparations finalized. That'll be coming up soon. And I got to see the girls, so that was fun. We made our plans for tomorrow when we all go to the pumpkin patch because we weren't sure like what time and all that. But, but Mary and I are going to go out to dinner now. We weren't sure if we were going to go out, but we're going to go have Mexican food. It just seems like it's been forever since he and I just went out and got dinner. It, it seems like it's, I don't even know when was the last time. And you would think that we would get to do it more because we only have one child at home and he's 14. But it's just life has been so busy. So we're going to enjoy it. We might go do some shopping somewhere. I don't know. These trees, when the sun hits them in the evening, they are too beautiful. Can't wait for Mexican. Wow. <laughs> Well, that food was two thumbs ups. I have been waiting for Mexican food all week long and it did not disappoint. Um, and we're gonna run to Hobby Lobby because I did, I went yesterday, not yesterday, a couple days ago, and I bought a ton of stuff for Christmas, in the Christmas section I was looking, what am I saying? I bought a bunch of Christmas stuff the other day because I'm gonna be doing, you know, I decorate with gingerbread and I'm gonna be doing um, something like that this year, so I needed to pick up. I needed to see what they had. I wanted to look for like blankets because I need some. I don't have any like Christmas throws. I have one, but it's really thin, and I want a couple. So I want to see if they have any Christmas blankets or pillows. I, I was there when I was there. I did see a few pillows up at the front, and they were thirty-seven ninety-nine for the pillows. They were half off that, but still, that's ridiculous for a pillow. So I'm probably not gonna buy pillows there, but I, I did get some pillowcases on Amazon. So at some point I'm gonna do like a Christmas decor haul and show you the things that I've been picking up. But everything I've gotten is like on sale or really a good deal. So anyway, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby real quick, see if I can find like a throw, if they're a good deal. And he's being a good husband, taking me to Hobby Lobby. Cause I like He was gonna go to, what was it called? Harbor Freight Tools, but he said he's not, so. Uh, he's coming to Hobby Lobby instead. Uh, I have to go to. These are the pillows. These are 38. Does that say 38.99? I'm not wearing my glasses. 30.99. But these are how much? These are 37.99. Isn't that crazy? But they're so cute. But I would never pay that much. I love this. I don't know why, but 80 bucks. It's so cute. I have this blanket, but it's not my favorite. It would be 12 bucks. I also love that sign right there. So cute. Okay, now Target. I went to Hobby Lobby and Ross. Haven't found a blanket I like. I'm gonna try Target. I also need to get some new stockings. Um, I'll explain it later, but anyway, we're gonna run into Target. All right, we ended up going to Target, Ross, TJ Maxx. Where else? You saw where we went. Anyway, I got a few things for Christmas and I'll show you in another video. I'll do like a Christmas Christmas haul, like a few things I got. Um, Marion got a few things he needed. We got a few food items, pantry items, but I got a few things for the baby shower. But I did buy this at TJ Maxx and I showed like recently like a Christmassy, it was just a different picture, but it's the same board. Uh, this is the servery. 
uh, it's a you know charcuterie board. I've been wanting something like this because it's so good at the holidays. It's so fun to make like a board, a snack board. And I know one of you or a couple of you mentioned that Marion could probably make me one. And I talked to him about it. And he says to make those cuts and everything, it would just be, and then the way wood is expensive, he said it would just be cheaper to buy this one. It was $19.99 at TJ Maxx, and it's a good size. I had some smaller ones about the size of this that were $17, but I went in and got the bigger one. I just think they are so fun to make. For Elena's wedding, we did individual charcuterie boxes, and that was the most fun thing ever. And uh, I'm actually going to do like a Halloween kind of Halloween themed charcuterie, like small, just a few things, but cause it'd just be us, but um, perfect for that. And then for Christmas, we love to have one. So I got that. And then, like I said, I got a few Christmas things, but I will show you that in a separate like Christmas decor haul. So anyway, I just got home and all the babies were starving. I had to feed them all. I'm gonna do some, throw some laundry, I have wa uh, laundry in the washer. I was trying to get caught up on it cause we'll be gone tomorrow. So I might throw you know, throw the throw the laundry in the dryer and put another load in the washer and I'll put it in the dryer in the morning before we leave. We're leaving at like 10 in the morning. 10, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to be gone most of the day. So it's going to be a long day. But Jackson is still gone. It's almost 8.30. So whenever they call and tell us, he's, he's probably going to be another hour or so, maybe longer, uh, before we go pick him up. But I've just got like a sink full of dishes and I need to do lots of stuff around here. So I'm going to get all that done. So that I don't have to come home tomorrow to Dirty House, you know, after we've been gone all weekend, so. So I'm going to throw a few of those in the oven and try to control myself. now to pick my mom up and then we're gonna meet Patrick I don't know if I told you this already we're gonna meet Patrick and then we're he's gonna follow us we're gonna stop at Sonic and have lunch I know I think Elena and her husband Andrew and then Michael and Danielle are gonna meet us there and then uh, Jordan and Madison are um, gonna meet, just meet us at the farm they're going to church so we'll then we'll eat lunch and <laughs> go out to the farm there's a little few details you probably didn't need to know.
Michael got you. All right, Marion against Patrick. <laughs> I was better. Here goes. Marion. No. <laughs> you about got mom with that one. <laughs> Not too, too shabby. <laughs> Jackson, which way? So 
The rest of us, Helena's husband Andrew is also not, but the rest of us are gonna go to Cracker Barrel. Hopefully we're gonna go to Cracker Barrel. We're gonna run back home and let the dogs out and then we need a table for 10, I think. So if it's not like a two hour wait, then we will have dinner at Cracker Barrel. Otherwise we'll probably have to find somewhere that's just not as you know long of a wait just because it's a school night. And I don't know. But when we were at the farm, first of all, it was so much fun. So the weather was perfect and there was not too many people there. So that was awesome. It's just a fun tradition. We like to do it every year, but everybody was eating the whole time. I feel like, I don't know how many's going to be hungry. They had kettle corn and apples and what else? Funnel cakes and tater ribbons, tater ribbons and ices and hot, uh, hot apple cider, like so much stuff. I personally did not because I wanted to be hungry for dinner. Otherwise I would not be hungry. So. Thank you. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's Christmas at Cracker Barrel. Gummy bacon. Gummy Lunchable. That's just disgusting. I mean, it's just all gummies, but yeah, like, basically, it yeah. looks disgusting. Big fancy crock pot of. Look at this table. Look at this. The, the meat just like literally falls apart. Oh. All right, time to say goodnight. We're home. I'm exhausted. It's like after 10 o'clock. We went to Cracker Barrel. We got there at 6:30, and I think we left about 8:30. Yeah, 8:30 to 8:45. It was crazy. It was so delicious though, that was so fun. We were there for a long time and it's just always such a treat to have all my kids together. It, you know, with everybody's schedules, it's just, it doesn't happen as much as I wish it would, but I cherish these days and these traditions going to the farm every year. It's just something that I'm so glad we've made time for every year and next year. Like I said, we get to add a little baby to it, so it's just gonna be even sweeter. So anyway, I know that uh, these kind of, well, this was a whole weekend vlog for you, so hopefully you enjoyed it, but usually these kind of like family day trips are my favorite to make and to watch back, but I know that they're not like the most viewed because, um, you know they're just family vlogs but for those of you that have like gotten to know my family i appreciate it so much you watching and liking and all that so also if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me over there because i just posted i just sat down for like 30 minutes and posted a lot of pictures and stories from the day so you can see those you know by the time you see this they're a week old so you'll get to see those more in real time so thank you again for watching i love you guys and i will see you next week Bye bye